Welcome back. How are you today? I wish I could hear your reply. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I can't complain. Life is good, especially when good friends are around and we are healthy and capable of doing things. That is so true. In business world, we often have visitors or so-called agents or business partners come to visit us. I bet there are many issues that people who receive foreign visitors may come up. Right. Let's check it out with our students' questions for today. Hope their questions, uh, our answers to their questions can help you too. Hello, my name is Molly. And I'm Corey. My question is, if I cannot understand a person's words because of the local accent, is it appropriate if I ask them to write it down for me? Thanks for the question, Corey. It can be uncomfortable if you're speaking with someone and you're not sure exactly what they're saying. If this is the case, you can ask them to write down what they're saying to make it more clear. However, I would recommend that first you simply ask them to repeat themselves. You can even say something like, excuse me, could you say that again? And please slow down a little bit. 对，刚刚Austin老师对Corey的回答，呃，老师觉得非常棒哈，就是说没有问题，你可以请对方，因为口音的关系导致你很难理解，是可以请对方写下来。但是更好的方式就是你请对方。uh, say it again, just say it again, or can you uh, repeat it, or speak slower. Ha,这些可能会比较对方写下来,应该先try这一步。如果都没有帮助的情况下,你再请他写下来。这种在商场上是常常见到的,因为是一个global的一个全球化的经济,所以各种口音都会有。不会每个人都像Austin老师说这么标准的北美的英语。所以这种情况老师也预见过。我想Austin老师的回答是非常中肯的。我们现在来看下一个问题。Thank you. My question is, as a visitor in your foreign country, how can we be cautious with the people we are asking for direction? Thanks for the question, Molly. It's good to be cautious when visiting a foreign country. You might not want to let everyone know that you're a visitor there. If you're a little bit worried about asking random people for directions, I would advise don't do it. Uh, you could go to a store or another really busy location near where you want to go and ask someone who works for a store or someone who actually uh, maybe has a job, somewhere where people can remember that you were visiting there, somewhere that's uh, very visible, where a lot of people are. That will be a lot, of, a lot safer, I think. Molly同学的问题提问的非常好 或是cashier,他可以帮助你。可能会对你比较有保障,万一有出了什么事,至少你还有记录可循,你是在一个公众的地方问路。这是同学们出国在外,特别是出差的时候,你是独自一个人,可能要小心,不要随便路上问行人
looking for uh, YouTube videos, that can be a really great source too. As long as you are watching modern culture and listening to people speak to one another in a modern and uh, natural way, I think you can learn a lot. 呃，谢谢老师的回答。呃，没有错，在这一个单元，这个呃第二册的课程里头，我们用了许多的 American idioms， 呃，我们也学了很多呃呃比较常用的一些绘画哈。呃，这是一个非常好的地方。你如果每一位同学都看这个节目，能够 review 这些所学的，我想非常好。那老师 Austin 老师建议的就是，你看一些电视节目。或者是呃呃歌曲，或者是呃电影，呃比较属于现代的那种呃呃呃呃呃节目，可能你都可以学到一些呃你呃你你想要学的东西。那 Lisa 老师呃当老师的人就会觉得说，呃什么是最有效的学习方式？老师觉得最有效的学习方式就是你马上去用它。比如说，在这个讲这个单元这一个学期，我们学了许多的 American idioms。如果你能够找机会去用它，这是最好的。我们看下一个题目。Thank you. My next question is: I find using body language to express myself very useful when I don't know how to say a word. Is it fine to do this, or does it make me look foolish? Thanks for the question, Molly. Using body language to express yourself is a really good idea. Don't be afraid to、uh, go that extra mile to communicate with other people because it's a really natural part of the way、uh, the ways that people talk to one another. 呃，是的 ，Molly， 用 body language 来帮助你表达，这是很正常、很自然、很自然的，也是很有效的表达方式。那呃，老师可能要啊、呃、帮助你了解 body language， 什么叫做 body language？ 啊、呃，在在真正的呃口语表达上，这个包含你的手势，包含你的啊、呃、表情，哈，也包含你的站姿、坐姿，这些都是 body language。所以 Lisa 老师会建议你，就是，呃，看看你要去的国家的文化是什么。呃，有时候不同的文化对，呃呃 ，gesture 就是手势的表达是不一样的意思。呃，这会带来有些是带来很大的冲突哈、啊，会让别人很冒犯别人。所以老师会觉得，如果你要去的国家是确定什么国家，你可能要做一点点 research 哈、啊，所以不会做错哈。啊让别人觉得呃很不礼貌哈、啊。那当然，透过 body language 来表达你自己，越自然这是越好的。谢谢 Austin 老师的回答。那我们啊就往下哈、啊、今天的单元。You know, I think it's a time for a vacation, don't you think so? Sure. Why not? Even though I just returned from visiting my family, I wouldn't mind taking another vacation. You look a little tired today. What's going on?、Uh, well, lately my work has really been running me ragged. We have just finished with final exams, and as you know, this is the busiest time for teachers. We have to make our exams, grade them, and then post the grades. Ah,、uh, same here, teachers. I understand. You know, students, we have a great lesson. Uh, today, uh, maybe let's take a look at the chapter focus first. Sure, Lisa.、Uh, today's chapter focus has two parts. The first is to learn how to repeat and ask for repetition in order to clarify meaning. The second is to learn how to request the speaker to change speed and volume during conversations. 今天的课程重点是第一，要学习如何附送或请求他人附送以了解他们的语义。还有第二个呢，需要学习如何请求说话者在对话时能够改变说话的速度跟音量。Before we watch our two conversations, we like to teach you some key words and phrases first, and we will explain it twice. First English, then Chinese, and also we will give you example. Okay, here we go. Key words and phrases. 我们看第一个生字叫 go off。警报或闹钟突然响起。Go off. To start making a noise as a signal or warning, be activated. 
，指一阵声响出现，作为一个启动信号或警示。For example, will the burglar alarm go off if someone tries to pick the lock? 如果有人撬开门锁，警报器会响吗 ？Intercom， 内部通话的系统或设备。Intercom, a system or piece of electrical equipment that allows people in different parts of a building, aircraft or ship to speak to each other. 只在大楼内不同的地方，或是或者是在飞机上或轮船上，可以用来相互交谈的系统或电信设备。For example, if you can't figure out how to do this, just call me on the intercom, and I will come help you. 如果你不清楚该怎么做。就按对讲机叫我，我会来帮你的。Celebrity， 名人。Celebrity， a famous person， especially in entertainment or sports。特别是指艺人或者是运动明星。For example， after having his picture on TV， Simon has become a celebrity around here。自从他的照片在电视播出后，呃 ，Simon 已经在这里变成名人了。下一个生字是 a stream of something， 一连串的事物。A stream of something, a continuous flow of people or things， 指人群或事物不断的出现或涌出。For example. A stream of tears came from her eyes after her boss made the cutting comment. 在听到他老板如此伤人的评论后，他的眼泪夺眶而出。下一个生字是 limousine， 豪华轿车。Limousine, a long, expensive, comfortable car in which a screen separates the driver from the passengers. 指很舒适的大型昂贵的轿车。车子内部有被隔开司机跟乘客的这个啊，这种车子。For example, the white limousine used for the wedding was very impressive. 婚礼用的白色豪华礼车真是令人印象深刻。Press conference， 记者会。Press conference. An official meeting where someone makes a formal statement about a particular issue or event to journalists and answers their questions about it. 指一个正式的会议，会中有人针对某一个特定的问题或事件提出正式的声明，并回答记者提出的有关问题。For example, press conferences give celebrities a chance to show another side of their personalities to the public. 记者会给了名人一个展现不同的面貌，让大众了解的机会。下一个生字是 screening， 电影的放映。Screening, an occasion when a film is shown or a television program is broadcast. 这是指电影或是电视节目在上映或试映。For example, the screening of her first film made her an instant success. 她的首部电影上映让她迅速的窜红。下一个生字是 bet， 打赌。Bet, used for saying that you are sure about something. 这是指用来表示你很肯定的事，有点像打包票了。For example, I bet you won't get the printer for less than four thousand NT. 呃、uh, ，我敢打包票，你买不到价钱低于四千元的印表机。最后一个生字是 sue， 控告。Sue, to make a legal claim against someone, usually to get money from them because they have done something bad to you. 这是指透过法律的程序控告他人，通常是因为他他人做了伤害你的事，而你要求赔偿。For example, if we can't settle this between us, I have no choice but to sue. 如果我们不能达成协商，我恐怕得对你提出告诉。Well, we just reviewed some key words and phrases. Hope the skits we are going to play for you it will be easy for you. Again, the first time we provide Chinese subtitles. 
Here we go, conversation one and two. Hello, Mr. Jordan. It is really a pleasure to see you again. When did you arrive? Just a minute, please. Hello, Sally speaking. Would you mind if I call you back? Yeah, I have someone right here at my office right now. Thanks for understanding. Okay, bye. Excuse me, Mr. Jordan. You were answering my question about when you arrived. I said I flew in yesterday afternoon and I've been trying to... Say it again. I, I didn't catch the last part of your sentence. I said I flew in yesterday afternoon and I've been trying to get my days and nights straightened out since then. I understand that feeling. About the time you get back on your schedule, it's time to go home, right? You could say that again. Oh, how's business? That bus of yours still running, you ragged? You know Mr. Zhou, he... Hello, team. I'm sorry I can't talk right now. Let me call you back. Mr. Jordan, I beg your pardon. What, what were you asking me just now? I was asking you, is Mr. Zhou still running you ragged? Uh, would you mind repeating your question? I asked, is that boss of yours still running you ragged? Would you mind explaining the expression, running you ragged? I don't quite understand your meaning. Oh, sorry. I asked if your boss was working you too hard these days. Got it. I guess he hasn't given me time to think about being run ragged. I guess that's my answer. You won't believe what just happened. I was driving alone, and suddenly I saw a stream of black limousines coming toward me leased by a police car. I didn't think that much about it yet, until I saw Brad Pitt sitting in the backseat of one of the limos. You know how much I've been dreaming of meeting him one day. It has been the happiest day of my life. How about slowing down a little? You're going too fast. Did you say you saw Brad Pitt? Are you sure it was him? Yeah, I'm sure. I saw a license plate Pitt. He must have been on his way to a press conference or a movie screening or something. I just can't imagine how he looks like. Those fabulous blue eyes. Oh, he's so handsome. If I just had the chance to talk to him. Okay, please speak a little more slowly and tell me all about it. Was anyone with him? Yeah, that's the great part. Julia Roberts was sitting beside him, combing his hair and looking him straight in those deep blue eyes and... Would you mind speaking so quickly? Get a grip! Okay, okay. I'm just too excited. It's like a dream to me. But wait, I didn't see his wife. Speak up, will you? I said I didn't see his wife with him. Don't you think there's something funny going on here? I bet. Something is going on and the press doesn't know about it yet. Do you think if I'm the first to mention it to them, there might be something in it for me? Hold your horses. I thought you said you really like him. If this is true, you could really damage his reputation. Think this through before you tell anyone. Yeah, but I can be rich and famous and... and sued and unemployed and miserable and starving. I didn't hear what you said. Good. to know what does that mean to get something straightened out? This verb phrase simply means to deal with or sort out a problem or a confused situation. Okay, to get something straightened out, 这是一个动词片语, 用在说明解决一个问题或是一个很混乱的情况. For example, Sir, I will call the manager and get this problem straightened out. Sir, I will call the manager and get this problem straightened out. 先生,我会致电给经理将这个问题解决。Austin, uh, when people tell me, you can say that again, does that mean the person didn't catch it, what I said at the first place? Uh, no, this expression doesn't mean that what you said was not clear to be understood. 
This expression means that the other person totally agrees with what you just said. Ah, 这个意思呢，不是只说对方不清楚我的意思哈，而是说他完全的同意我所刚才说的。我们来看例句。For example, if two people are speaking, the first could say, "He has to be the most deceptive customer I have ever met," and the second could reply with, "You could say that again." Okay. 这两个人对话哈哈，他说这是我碰到过最不老实的客人。那对方 B 是同意的，他就说 You can say that again， 意思就是说我同意这个人是很不老实的客人。哈，这是这个呃词的用法。呃、uh, ，Austin， when I said you look tired today at the beginning of our program， you say your work has really run you ragged。What does that mean？ Run someone ragged. This phrase means to make someone very tired, usually by giving them a lot of work and making them work very hard. Okay, run somebody ragged. 意思个片语的意思就是使某人工作很劳累，通常是给很他们很多工作，让他们工作的很辛苦。也就是说，使某人疲于奔命。哈 ，run somebody ragged. 我们来看例句。For example. Your boss must be running you ragged these days. You look really tired. Your boss must be running you ragged these days. You really look tired. 你的老板这些天一定让你很忙碌，你看起来好累哦。好的 ，Austin. Ah,、uh, there was a one more、uh, phrase called "get a grip." When do we use this? Get a grip. Get a grip. Uh, when someone is nervous about something or emotionally upset, then you can use this expression to encourage that person to make an effort to control their emotions or their behavior,、okay. literally to get a grip on reality. All right, 谢谢你。当有人很担心、很紧张，还是说情绪很低落的时候，那么你就可以使用这个表达方式，用这句话来鼓励那个人用力控制他的情绪、负面的情绪行为。意思就是指说啊，面对现实吧 ，get a grip 啊，意思就是说使你自己镇定下来。For example, I know you are scared, but get a grip. You have to go on stage now. I know you are scared, but get a grip. You have to go on stage now. 呃、uh, ，我知道你很害怕，但是你现在就要啊、uh, 镇定下来，因为你得上台了。How about hold your horses? It's not really holding back their horses, isn't it? No,、uh, that isn't it.、Uh, this idiom means to wait a minute and to be reasonable. Okay, hold your horses 跟拉你的马回来是没有关系的。这个成语的意思就是说，别急，等待一下，慢慢来，这是合理的。Hold your horses. Okay, 等一下，稍待，别急。For example, hold your horses. You haven't even given me a chance to explain why I said what I did. Hold your horses. You haven't even given me a chance to explain why I said what I did. Okay, 意思就是说，等一下，你还没给我机会解释为什么，呃，我为什么这么说。有时候呢，我们没有听到，或者是遗漏了。和他人对话当中的某些句子，在这样的情况下，我们就要求对方再复述一次哈。接下来 ，Austin 老师会给我们一些的情境，然后给我们一些的例句。Let's go. First, asking for repetition, and we have simple ways. What? Say again. Excuse me. And then we have some more ways of asking. I beg your pardon. Please repeat that. Would you mind repeating that? I didn't quite catch that. Next, we have repeating and emphasizing. I said I don't know when he will be back. I asked you, will you write down that serial number for me? I asked you, what time are you coming back from your trip to L.A.? What I said was that I was too busy to go. 接下来的 situation two 就是有人说话的速度很快，或者是声音过小。导致我们无法听懂或啊他们的呃说话，在这种情况下，我们就要告诉对方，请他们说慢一点或大声一点。Austin 老师给我们一些例句。So first we have speed, 
in the affirmative way. Please speak a little more slowly. Slow down a little. Excuse me, you're going too fast. By using questions. Could you please speak slowly? Would you mind not speaking so quickly? How about slowing down a little, okay? Then we have volume in the affirmative way. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I can't hear a word you're saying. Please speak a little louder. And finally, by using questions. Could you please speak a little louder? Would you mind speaking in a louder voice? Speak up, will you? Thank uh, Conversation 1 and 2 with the English subtitles. Hello, Mr. Jordan. It is really a pleasure to see you again. When did you arrive? Just a minute, please. Hello, Sally speaking. Would you mind if I call you back? Yeah, I have someone right here at my office right now. Thanks for understanding. Okay, bye. Excuse me, Mr. Jordan. You were answering my question about when you arrived. I said I'd flew in yesterday afternoon and I've been trying to. again I, I didn't catch the last part of your sentence I said I flew in yesterday afternoon and I've been trying to get my days and nights straightened out since then I understand that feeling about the time you get back on your schedule it's time to go home right you could say that again oh how's business that bus of yours still running you ragged you know mr. Zoe uh, he... uh, hello team I'm sorry I can't talk right now let me call you back Mr. Jordan, I beg your pardon. What, what were you asking me just now? I was asking you, is Mr. Zhou still running you ragged? Uh, would you mind repeating your question? I asked, is that boss of yours still running you ragged? Would you mind explaining the expression, running you ragged? I don't quite understand your meaning. Oh, sorry. I asked if your boss is working you too hard these days. Got it. I guess he hasn't given me time to think about being around ragged. I guess that's my answer. You won't believe what just happened. I was driving alone and suddenly I saw a stream of black limousines coming toward me leased by a police card. I didn't think that much about it yet until I saw Brad Pitt sitting in the backseat of one of the limos. You don't know how much I've been dreaming of meeting him one day. It has to be the happiest day of my life. How about slowing down a little? You're going too fast. Did you say you saw Brad Pitt? Are you sure it was him? Yeah, I'm sure. I saw a license plate Pitt. He must have been on his way to a press conference or a movie screening or something. I just can't imagine how he looks like. Those fabulous blue eyes. Oh, he's so handsome. If I just had the chance to talk to him. Okay, please speak a little more slowly and tell me all about it. Was anyone with him? Yeah, that's the great part. Julia Roberts was sitting beside him, combing his hair and looking him straight in those deep blue eyes and... Would you mind speaking so quickly? Get a grip! Okay, okay. I'm just too excited. It's like a dream to me. But wait, I didn't see his wife. Speak up, will you? I said I didn't see his wife with him. Don't you think there's something funny going on here? I bet something is going on and the press doesn't know about it yet. Do you think if I'm the first to mention it to them, there might be something in it for me? Hold your horses. I thought you said you really like him. If this is true, you could really damage his reputation. Think this through before you tell anyone. Yeah, but I can be rich and famous and... and sued and unemployed and miserable and starving. I didn't hear what you said. Good. Well, students keep on learning English. The more you use it, the more it becomes yours. See you next week. Thanks for tuning in.